Bread versus wafers. So I, I just remembered, I was just watching that church I used to go to, um, Church of Christ. Um, and uh, the last time I went there, I noticed they had these little packets and they had a little cup. Um, that had your wine or whatever and a wafer on the lid, a really thin thing that just looked like plastic. I don't know what it was, but apparently that's supposed to be the bread, but they call it wafer. Um, so I was just watching it again, watching one of their sermons. They've put it online now, so it's... Um, they got, like, better bands coming in and it's, like, more entertainment sort of stuff and... Um, more lighted and just um, showmanship basically but uh, yeah the, the fellas there saying okay get your wafers and uh, all this sort of stuff and I'm, I'm like why are they using the word wafers now so I just type wafer into the bible into blue letter and it comes three times and it's only in the old testament it's not in the not in the new testament so, uh, yeah, I was just looking here and you can see, and one loaf of bread, and one cake of oiled bread, and one wafer out of the basket of unleavened bread. Uh, Leviticus, and the basket of unleavened bread that was before the Lord, he took one unleavened cake, and a cake of oiled bread, and one wafer, and put them on the fat upon the shoulder. And the priest shall take the sudden shoulder of the ram. So this wafer thing is more of a Catholic uh, sort of thing. It is. It's Catholic. Catholics love their little wafers. So yeah, that's creeping into their churches. They sneak it in there. And uh, all these people that live in a little town there uh, have just had this thing move into their church and um, this spirit. Um, but, uh, <laughs> That's pretty. Uh, yeah, I could see it, but the, you know, there's still some good people there. But now we'll have a look at this Strong's here wafer. All right, so seven H seven five five fifty. Uh, so, oops, I'll just go back one there. Okay, thin cake wafer. So go there seven times one one times cake. And it comes from this one here. It's an original sense. It's this one. It's to spit. Alright, to spit. So their wafer is spit. Now, the one time it's used as spit. Let's have a look. Pretty sure I already loaded it. I think it's here. Yeah, okay, here. The one time it's in Leviticus. Alright. And if he that has issue spit upon him that is clean, then he shall wash his clothes and let's have a look. So, so what it's saying here in this one is about cleansing the uncleanliness. All right. So somebody that's unclean and they've got an issue like a a disease or something like that, and he that sitteth on anything whereupon he sat has an issue so this person that's had an issue has a chair or something and you sit in his chair um, you should wash your clothes and bathe bathe yourself in water and and be unclean until the evening so you're not clean until that evening and he that touches the flesh of him that has the issue shall wash his clothes and bathe himself in water and be unclean until evening and he that has the issue spit upon him that is clean so if this guy spits on you all right and you're clean, right? Then you should wash wash your clothes and bathe themselves with water, and you'll be unclean until the evening. So this wafer, right? Wafer comes from spit, the original word spit. To spit. Thin cake wafer. All right, so. Um, Next time you're at your church or you go for this thing, make sure you insist on bread. <laughs> right? And it, I'm not even sure it has to be unleavened because it was before Passover. Like it was more of a wedding um, supper 
than it was for Passover. So when Jesus was saying, take this bread in remembrance of me, um, it was uh, like a sop bread. I'll have to look into that again. But um, yeah, I don't, it, was, it was leavened bread, pretty sure. So um, like wedding, wedding sort of bread, because he was actually like um, offering you engagement or to, to join with him. All right. So, yeah, don't let these churches bring in this stupid wafer thing. <laughs> I, I hate it. I think there's some sort of sneaky thing going on. And none of this is in the New Testament. This is all Old Testament stuff, right? It's got nothing to do with the New Covenant. All right. God bless.